Hey loves, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts and I have some exciting news! No mom, I'm not pregnant. Actually, it's more exciting than that, I think. I just got a dream box. <laughs> so a dream box is this gorgeous, massive unit for me to store all of my craft stuff. Like, not like I have any issue finding space to put things, but hopefully, this bad boy is gonna get me more organized than I am right now. I think this is it. There's a there's a big truck that just passed by my house. Either this is it or I'm being like hella nosy and I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But uh I hope I hope it's it. I don't know, I hope so. Well, I guess that's not it, because it is driving away. Well, back in the house I go. Sorry, false alarm. Soon after it was for me. It was. I just went to take out the trash and I, he, he was like walking around looking lost. And I was like, I think that's for me. He said he's going to back it on up like a U-Haul truck. Here we go. Ooh, While our delivery man gets my crate out of the truck, let me tell you a little bit more about the Dream Box and how I came to have one. The Dream Box is a product of the original Scrap Box, which was started by a couple of guys that wanted to help provide a solution to the messy craft room. Since its inception, the collection of products offered has expanded to include craft storage solutions to suit makers of all kinds in any type of space. You can go for the Dream Box for an entire craft room makeover, try the new Dream Cart for just a bit of extra storage, or try any of the other solutions in between. Now I'm gonna be honest, when I was first approached about trying out a Dream Box in my workroom, I turned them down. My biggest concern was space. I work out of an eight by 10 guest bedroom and thought there was no way I could get a unit like that into my room and still have it be usable. But they convinced me and here we are. I will say I'm pretty excited to get this room rearranged and really make use of all the Dream Box has to offer. Oh, it looks like he's about to place the crate. Let's get back to it. Oh, you want it? Um, with the, the end or do you want it this this way up in there? Um, can we do it just straight in? Is good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Maybe leave a little space before the sidewalk. Okay. Room, working room to get her up. Just a little bit, yeah. That should be perfect. Awesome. Ah, there she is. Oh my gosh, this thing is way bigger than I was expecting. Goodness. Fabulous. Meanwhile, my room is a complete wreck. So what I need to do over the course of the next two and a half, three hours is clean this entire room because I have movers that are going to come open that giant crate outside and they're going to bring that thing up here and they need somewhere to put it and I currently have nowhere to put it. So right now, she's just posted right outside next to my car like, hey girl, hey, give her a wave. <laughs> And I really need to get to work. Not only do I need to clean this entire room, but I also need to find a power drill because I don't think I have one of those. Needless to say, I am woefully unprepared for this entire experience, but we're going to do this together. We're going to have some fun. Let's let's get this room clean. <sighs> okay, so we are about two hours into this little excursion to rearrange my room before the movers come to bring my dream box upstairs. Um, I always forget that when you're like deep cleaning or rearranging furniture and stuff, it is so likely for your room to get insanely messy before it gets anywhere near clean. So here's what I've done so far. Just bear with me. So this is all the stuff that was in this closet. I left the stuff that's up on the shelf cause that won't move, but I cleared everything out of the floor. And the hope is that I'll be able to keep this nine box shelf as well as that baker's rack and put those both back into the closet but I need to get this guy down to the dumpster. I need to empty out that guy and put all that stuff in here and put that in the closet. And then I need to figure this stuff out. One thing of course I have to remember is that what I'm getting is a storage unit. So I have to also, while I'm going through all of this, decide what's gonna be cute enough to put in my dream box. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna switch out of the sweatshirt because I don't know what I was thinking. It's hot, drinking some water, stay hydrated, and uh, I'm gonna get back to work. After some major hard work, we had made some progress. All of the storage for the closet was complete. There's a ton of stuff still on the floor, oh my gosh, but we have cleared out the space for our dream box. The end is in sight. And through the magic of television, here she is. 
So she's looking a little bare right now, but I did order this pre-assembled. So I don't have to put a lot of stuff together, which I'm really happy about, but we've got the drawers. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. This is the desk that folds out and then the two smaller boxes that go on the side. I did get a rug to put underneath this to protect my carpets, um, but all in all, really excited about this journey we're about to go on. I'm not excited about weeding through all of this, but you know what? All that stuff was in this room before and I'll get it all back in here again. Thanks so much for hanging out while my craft box arrives. My dream box got here. I'll see you when it's done. Yes, babes, you did in fact see what you thought you saw. Your girl got a dream box. So from the company, the original scrap box, I got a dream box. Um, the only problem is though, like, where's she gonna go? Where do you go? <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess and I have it. I'm so sad. Hey love, so I've made some major progress in the room. Just want to do a quick check-in because I need to go get a cordless screwdriver. I almost forgot before the movers get here. So here's a quick tour. So we have cleared the area. I am proud to say it just needs a quick vacuum. I still need to handle him. But he hasn't moved, so I'm not going to mess with him right now. But <laughs> everything had to go somewhere. So I just have these kind of two big piles of stuff. And there's like a whole bunch of stuff under my desk as well. But I did get the baker's rack into the closet as well as this bad boy. And I need to clean up up here. So it's coming along. Very happy about that. Going to get a screwdriver. I mean, not a screwdriver. A drill. I need one. I feel like as an adult, I should have one, but I'm working on it slowly, but surely promise. Look what's happening. She's like all attached. This guy right here, this is like a little light. So that'll light up but all the leaves are on. I did have to move the carpet. I'm probably gonna put that back under there eventually. So there'll be a carpet under here. And now I just have to start putting all the little shelvies up in here and figure out what all this stuff is gonna be. I have no idea yet.